This is how I got a flat response all the way down to 14 hertz, all for free, all in the span of a couple of minutes. So one reason why your subwoofer may not be getting so deep is because of your low pass filter. And you might be surprised because the low pass filter controls how high your subwoofer can play, not how low it can play, because your subsonic filter controls how low your subwoofer can play. And I'm guessing that your subsonic filter is already turned all the way down. And if you don't know what that is, or if you haven't set it yet, or if you just haven't messed with it in a while, then you should probably watch this video right here after watching this video, because this will show you how to set up all of your amplifier settings. So assuming that you already have your subsonic filter set correctly and you're still not getting a deep bass that you want, well that's probably because your low pass filter is set too high. And the reason that this is a problem is because since your low pass filter controls how high your subwoofer can play, that also controls how much headroom your subwoofer has for the lower frequencies or how much it can focus on playing those lower frequencies. So my kicker amplifier's low pass filter goes all the way up to 200 hertz, but my other amplifier's low pass filter goes all the way up to 250 hertz. So every amplifier low pass filter is going to be different on how high the frequency is. Your low pass filter does depend on how low your main speakers can play, but you could get away with putting it a little bit lower than what your main speakers could play, and that could give your subwoofer some more headroom for the lower notes. So my main speakers start to roll off around 90 to 100 hertz, but I have my low pass filter set all the way to 35 hertz. And you may be thinking that's a crazy setting to put your low pass filter at, since my main speakers roll off a lot higher. So I have my low pass filter set to 35 hertz, which is my amplifier's minimum. But the main reason I did this, is for one so I can gain more headroom so I can play them deeper notes with more authority but also so I can get a more flat response because the room that my subwoofer is in it peaks around 45 to 50 hertz and it still does do great with the lower notes but I just wanted the more flat response and having my low pass filter set to 35 hertz I get a flat response all the way down to like 14 or 15 hertz now this is a flat response by ear I do want to make a video testing out the frequency response of my subwoofer and make a graph of its frequency response so let me know down below in the comments if you guys want to see that video I know you guys are probably wondering how my performance is around that 50 to 100 hertz range. Well, I still have a flat response all the way around that region. And that's where the second tip to get deeper bass comes in. So the second way I got deeper bass for free is by using an equalizer. So since my subwoofer is located inside my home, that means I'm able to use an equalizer through my computer. I do know that a lot of receivers do equalize your subwoofer according to your room, but this part is for you people that don't have a receiver that can do that. Or if you guys are running off of a head unit. So you're gonna have to do this part by ear and it is gonna take a bit of time and a bit of walking around your room. Now, since I'm using one subwoofer, I'm not getting the most even frequency response around my room, but the way my box was built and the way that I have it set up inside my room, it's laying on its longest side. And at my listening positions and even outside of my listening positions, this subwoofer sounds flat and I get them great rumbling lows. So a free equalizer that I recommend is Desk FX. And the reason that I recommend this specific equalizer is because it allows you to pick which frequency that you wanna change the loudness of. So let's say you have a peak of 40 Hertz, then you could just decrease the audio in the 40 hertz region and then you'll be getting a more flat response now i wouldn't recommend boosting your bass unless you set up your amplifier gains after setting bass boost so you're not clipping your subwoofer but there's only so much bass boost you can add before you start clipping so if you do boost your bass make sure you're being careful but i wouldn't recommend adding bass boost so for every subwoofer and for every environment it's going to be different for how you set up your equalizer and which frequencies you need to lower so you can have that flat response but also depending on your subwoofer and enclosure there is going to be a limit of how low you can go because at a certain point you are going to be losing too much output and you're not really going to be able to fix that by setting amplifier gains. So once you guys have these set, your subwoofer should be sounding a lot better and it should definitely be playing more flat and more deeper. Let me know down below in the comments if this worked for you guys. I appreciate all y'all for watching. Hopefully you guys learned something new today and I'll see you on the next video.